couple of months ago I released a video on the MFJ 1788 magnetic loop and um, it was actually my most watched video on YouTube so apparently you guys liked it. Despite that there were a few things with that video I wasn't overly happy with. Now I filmed that portable from my caravan whilst I was on holiday so I didn't have as much time as I would have liked to have had to evaluate it. Um, like I said I was on holiday so I had other things going on. Um, the mast wasn't quite as high as I would have liked. Um, I'll read you this passage from the MFJ uh, user manual. If the loop can be mounted more than 20 feet above the ground or above a metal roof, the best mounting arrangement will be with the loop vertical. If the loop is mounted over 20 feet above the ground or ground plane, a horizontally mounted loop will probably be the most satisfactory. It goes on to say, do not expect the best results if you mount this loop antenna horizontally if it is less than 20 feet above a metal roof or other ground plane. Now, the mast I was using on the caravan was pretty much exactly 20 feet. So we were on that, we were on that crossover point anyway. And uh, there's quite a bit of metal on the caravan too. So it, it probably wasn't the optimum arrangement. The location we were using was... Uh, down in a bit of a dip in the valley so uh, the location wasn't optimum and uh, if you re recall we also had a uh, bit of a dodgy connection in the feeder cable so basically I don't feel I gave this antenna a fair crack of the whip so what we're doing we're going to give it another go I'm going to revisit it um, as I film this we're in the middle of the UK lockdown due to this coronavirus so I can't go portable I can't go out anywhere so we're running this from home. Uh, I've got a 12 meter mast out in the back garden out there. I've mounted the antenna on top of the 12 meter mast, cranked right up. So 12 meters, what's that? That's about approaching 40 feet in uh, in old money. So uh, what we're going to do, I've got the antenna up on the mast, got it all rigged up, and we're going to do some uh, whisper testing and uh, see what happens. Now, looking at, the uh, manual, I've mounted it horizontally based on their advice um, in the manual um, because it's well over 20 feet, it's almost double that. And uh, we can see if we look at the um, radiation pattern here, it attenuates signals um, above and below the antenna. So if I mounted it vertically, it would be directional. And I might try that in the next video. Someone did ask me about that, so I think that's. Uh, that's another video. But for now we've got it mounted horizontally on top of the mast. So MFJ reckon that you get uh, signals attenuated by around 10 dB or so in an area 15 degrees above and below the um, antenna. So uh, theoretically, I guess you can read into that that this should be a DX antenna. I'm, I'm not completely convinced. And I don't know how well it's going to work on NVIS with this. Probably not very well if you're attenuating the signal straight up and down. But uh, what it does mean is it should, in theory, attenuate some of the interference. Now, where I live, there's quite a lot of electrical interference. So I'm hoping those nulls above and below the antenna are going to uh, uh, attenuate some of the local interference, um, as you can see in, uh, in this diagram here. So that's the theory. We're going to do some whisper testing and uh, well, well, we'll learn together. We'll find out what happens. Okay, so I spent the morning running some tests with this antenna. I've run it for half an hour on uh, whisper on each band. Now, ideally, I would have liked to have given it a bit longer, maybe uh, 24 hours on each band, but time restraints and all the rest of it so I've just run it for half an hour. Now, started off this morning on 15 meters and I'll put these screenshots up on the uh, screen so you can see what I'm talking about. This was between 10 o'clock and half 10 in the morning, which is possibly a bit early for this band. So there wasn't a lot of activity, which is probably why I've only made the one single contact, which, um, from my house in Swindon is probably, I don't know, maybe uh, 
maybe 20 miles as the crow flies, possibly a bit less. So in actual fact, I could have made this contact on uh, on VHF, to be honest with you. But um, like I say, possibly a bit early in the day for that. After that, I went on to uh, 17 metres, which uh, I ran between 10.35 and 11.05 in the morning. And uh, I received signals from three stations. They didn't hear me. It, Again, to be fair, possibly a bit early in the morning for this band. If I tried it later in the day, it might start to come alive a bit. But uh, possibly not the most popular bands anyway. Um, if I go 20 metres, again, slightly later in the day, 10 past uh, 11 to, call, uh, to 20 to 12, and... Uh, the bands are starting to come alive here, so uh, you can see I'm getting all around uh, Europe, and it's working quite nicely on 20 metres, actually. Um, I suspect if I tried it later in the day, it would probably do a bit better on the DX and uh, maybe over into the States. That might be one to try a bit later on this afternoon, and if I get a chance to try that, I'll uh, drop the uh, screenshot in for you. Um, now, 30 and 40 metres... I actually um, tested it on 30 and 40 metres last night before filming this uh, this video. So uh, I did that because I put the antenna up last night and just wanted to test it was working before doing the video. So um, these were actually from last night. Now I started off on 30 metres and um, you can see it's uh, just getting dark if or only just got dark. Um, this was uh, taken or run between uh, 20 to 8 and 10 past 8 in the evening. So, like I say, you can see where the grey line is. It's uh, just getting dark and uh, got the usual regional stuff around uh, Europe. But also uh, out to America as well and uh, down to uh, South Africa down here, down to Joburg. So... Uh, ties up with my results when I took it away in the caravan with me um, it did quite well on 30 metres and uh, on to 40 this is what surprised me now it's only just got dark when I did this test it's quarter past 8 in the evening through to quarter to 9 so it's it's only just got dark and 40 metres really for DX is more of a nighttime band, so it would be interesting to try, to try this later in the evening, say about 10 or 11 o'clock, maybe midnight, see if I can get some DX into the States. Um, and I might actually do that and drop a slide in if I get time this evening. Now, I said earlier I didn't think it would be much of an NVIS antenna, but actually it's done quite well. We're covering pretty much all over Europe here, so... As a regional antenna, it's it's actually working really well. So, there you go. Those are the results. Um, do I like this antenna? Yes, I do. Um, I want to do some more tests later on, see how it does on uh, DX as we get into the night. Um, if I get a chance to try that, I'll drop some slides in later on. Um, in terms of performance, it is very much it is a compromise antenna, but it's it's actually working a lot better than I thought it would. If you're going to mount it horizontally, you need to get it up high in the air, um, like most antennas really. Um, be interesting to try it vertically. As I say, that might be another video for another day. We we'll give that a go. Um, but uh, I stand by what I said. If you're using SSB and you're going to be changing channels a lot, constantly retuning it will drive you to absolute insanity. But for digital modes like this, if you're running FT8, and especially if you're in a confined space, like a small apartment, or you haven't got a huge garden, then um, yeah, perfectly, uh, perfectly good antenna. So uh, I don't think I was that far out with my... Uh, previous analysis but I wanted to give this uh, I don't think I gave it a fair shot last time so I wanted to give this a uh, slightly fairer crack of the whip and uh, yeah I like it I'll, I'll be hanging on to it
Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.